It was a day of racial violence that threatened to split New York City apart, but ultimately led to reconciliation and healing. But first, we go back to 1692. The Salem Witch Trials in the province of Massachusetts, five people, one woman and four men, including a minister, are executed after being convicted of witchcraft. The Reverend George Burroughs recited the Lord's Prayer on the gallows, which witches were supposedly not able to do. As a last-ditch appeal for clemency, he was hung anyway. 1782, the Battle of Blue Lick. A force of about 50 American loyalists with about 300 Indian allies ambushed and routed 182 rebel Kentucky militiamen. The interesting thing about that battle was it took place 10 months after the surrender of British commander Charles Cornwallis at the siege of Yorktown. By the way, Daniel Boone commanded one of the Kentucky militia units. 1812, the War of 1812, American frigate USS Constitution defeats the British ship HMS Guerrier off the coast of Nova Scotia. During the battle, cannonballs from the British ship's smaller cannons supposedly bounced off the side of Constitution, earning the ship the nickname Old Ironsides. 1917, New York Giants baseball manager John McGraw and Cincinnati Reds manager Christy Mathewson arrested for violating New York law by playing a charity benefit baseball game for the troops on a Sunday. The managers had moved up the date of the game to raise money and entertain 2,100 American soldiers before they left for France in the lead-up to World War I. 1955, closer to home, the flood of 55 in Connecticut. Back-to-back hurricanes Connie and Diane dropped 20 inches of rain on the state. Massive flooding ensued with floodwaters racing through the Naugatuck and Housatonic Valleys at an estimated 50 miles per hour. 90 people died, half a billion dollars in damage. And finally, 1991, Crown Heights, Brooklyn. Predominantly black rioters target Hasidic Jews on the streets of Crown Heights for three days after two black children were hit by a car driven by a Hasidic chauffeur. One of the children, Gavin Cato, later died. During the riot, 16-year-old Limerick Nelson stabbed and killed Australian rabbinical student Yankel Rosenbaum. In the years since, the Cato and Rosenbaum families have been instrumental in easing racial tensions in Crown Heights, which remains ethnically much the same as it was in 1991. That is your look back at historical highlights on this date, August 19th, and I am Donald Ng.